We have to tackle why people are literally using guns to settle petty disputes. At least 15 people were shot, two of them killed at a late night party on Chicago's south side. Nate Rogers has been speaking with police and community activists about this tragedy, and he's live for us tonight outside of police headquarters. Nate. That's right, Don and Corey. Police have been working leads all day long trying to identify the shooter or shooters involved. They're also trying to connect with all of the folks that attended this party. According to one source, many folks just randomly showed up at area hospitals asking for treatment after being shot. This was the chaotic scene, 5 a.m. 67th in South Chicago. Folks on stretchers, police trying to calm an agitated crowd. 39-year-old Lionel Darling and 30-year-old Rainisha Dotson now dead. Several of the uh, witnesses who were wounded are still in surgery and have yet to be interviewed, so more to come as far as uh, any kind of motive. The mass shooting occurred at a pop-up event inside this building, which had been converted into a bar and party area. At least 15 people shot. Their ages range from 20 to 44 years old. At one point, it may have been an old lounge uh, that is, uh, you know, obviously converted just for the pop-up party. These people, they don't have any type of training. They pick up these guns and settle these disputes and just start shooting everywhere. They never shoot each other. Reports indicate the shooting may have been gang related. Community activist Jamal Green says the altercation ensued over a petty dispute. Most of these people that were shot were literally just partying, trying to have a good time. Four guns were recovered at the scene. The number of shooters not yet released. Now, you may recall this is the second mass shooting here in Chicago in less than a year. In July, 15 people again were shot outside of that funeral home in the Auburn Gresham neighborhood. Now, as far as today's shooting, police again still working to track down the shooter involved. Um, at least a dozen folks still remain in the hospital. Their conditions range from stable to serious. We're live at Chicago Police Headquarters. I'm Nate Rogers, Fox 32 News.